guys, so I was gonna film from my bed today just to, you know, mix it up a bit, but then I realized that the lighting really, really sucks because the light that we have on our ceiling is like one of those really orangey ones that gives off no light, and I just have those fairy lights behind my bed, but if they're behind my face, they obviously don't light my face. So I'm here, like normal. So if you follow me on Twitter, which you totally should be doing because my tweets are fantastic, like just the other day I tweeted, weekends are awesome. That's Twitter gold right there, that is. But seriously, go follow me on there and stuff and talk to me because it makes me feel like I have friends. Anyway, if you already follow me, you may have noticed that I might have mentioned once or twice how freaking cold it is here. Now I know some of you might already be having to tunnel your way through snow to get to school, or maybe you can't even go to school because your school is frozen solid, but I am not used to this, so I just need to complain about it for a little bit. So I grew up in Southern California. For those of you who live far enough away that that means absolutely nothing to you, let me explain you a thing. With the exception of a few days, the temperature really never goes above 80 degrees in the middle of summer, and on the coldest days in the middle of winter, it really doesn't go much below 60 degrees. There was an entire year where I kid you not, I just wore flip-flops the entire year because it wasn't cold enough for me to need anything more than that. So this means that my understanding of the word cold is very different from someone who grew up in a place where it actually snows occasionally. Every morning when I woke up at home, I would check my weather app and if it was going to be 62 degrees that day, I would literally be disappointed because that was cold to me. So like I've said before, I moved all the way across the country for college and now I'm on the east coast and it is so cold here. My comfortable, ideal temperature is around 76 degrees. It hasn't been 76 degrees in a few months. It hasn't even been 66 degrees in a few weeks. No, it has been in the high 30s. Literally just a few degrees over freezing. I don't know how to deal with this. I'm cold all the time. My fingers are cold, my nose is cold, my ears are cold, my legs are cold, my toes are cold, my arms are cold. I'm just cold. I can't walk outside without several layers of jackets on. How do people live like this? And the worst part is, not only can I not go outside without feeling like I'm gonna get frostbite, but there is a crack in my window, right there, right next to my desk, where I have to work. So when I'm sitting here working, I just get this nice little cool draft of air blowing over me all the time. So I just have to sit here and keep putting more and more jackets on. I'll be sitting here dressed normally, and then I'll have to put a jacket on, and another jacket on, and another jacket on, and another jacket on, and another jacket on, until I look like this. And it's not even the middle of winter yet. It's still getting colder. By the time February gets here, they're gonna have to roll me to class because I am going to be covered in all of my jackets and rolled up in all of my bed sheets. And then another thing that's really annoying is the fact that the weather just doesn't seem to want to make up its mind. Like the general trend is that we're spiraling, spiraling, spiraling. Like the general trend is that we're spiraling down into the next ice age, or at least that's what it feels like to me, but we might have three consecutive days of like 36 degree weather, right? And I'll learn that I need to wear five and a half sweatshirts to make it through the day comfortably. But then, all of a sudden, just after I figured that out, we get another 55 degree day and it's like, I don't remember how many sweatshirts I need to wear in 55 degrees anymore because I just got used to 36 degrees. I was literally late to class the other day because we had another one of those warmer days and I just, I couldn't figure out what to wear. But seriously, how do people deal with this? If you live in a place that's cold, please leave your wisdom below because I'm pretty sure without it I'm going to turn into a snowball pretty soon. And if you live in a warm place, I could definitely use your wisdom too because apparently it gets really hot here too. And if you enjoyed or can sympathize with this long rant about the weather, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button down there. Maybe the pushing of buttons on your guys' computers will generate enough heat on this side of my computer that it will keep me warm and make me happy. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Death by chocolate, in any way, shape, or form. Knowing me, I'll probably end up eating so much chocolate that my blood turns into chocolate and I will die of chocolate poisoning.